I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. Having a wonderful time this week. Today is March the 15th, 2016, and boy, have I had a lot of stuff going on this last week. So let's uh, get into it. But first, let's hit the stickers. First up, Fun with Woodworking, uh, really cool channel. They uh, He just did this purple heart box, really sweet, gotta check it out. Uh, TPE, one of the coolest names I've ever come across for woodworking, the pollen effect, I love it. Um, KM Woodcraft, OG Timbercraft, uh, Tim Burcraft, he does uh, pins and other things like that. Uh, Tab Left does a lot of sweet uh, shop projects and things like that, check him out. Um, Bearcart Wood, really sweet furniture, uh, he has a a tool cabinet that is unbelievable. I mean, like, just like nothing I've ever seen before. Really, really cool. Gotta check him out. Uh, Dominic's Woodworking. <laughs> okay, he's the funniest YouTube channel I've ever come across that does woodworking. Uh, he made a fez stool for a fez stool. Um, yeah, <laughs> gotta check him out. Uh, Retro Weld, he just made this really cool forge, uh, well, furnace, uh, for heating up the metal. Uh, uh, sweet job, I really kind of liked it, and uh, kind of in inspiring to me, so you gotta check him out. Mit Miter Mike's Workshop does some really sweet things. Um, I'll leave a link to all of them below, so please check that out, and uh, yeah. Of the things I've been able to do this week, um, one of the biggest was uh, finally getting the video out for the turning saw. Uh, that was really cool, and if you haven't seen that, uh, please go check that out right here. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, I've had a lot of really, really good response from that, and uh, really cool video. Um, also this week, I was able to get out my uh, pin, uh, which I've already sent off. Uh, that is going off... Uh, um, it's actually being sent to the troops. So uh, yeah, check out that video as well. I'll probably leave a link to that somewhere around here. <laughs> now, I really thought I was gonna have a lot of time before I got to a thousand, uh, a thousand subscribers so that I could make uh, these hand planes that I wanna make. Um, and I'm gonna be making two of these. One of them I'm gonna keep, and the other one I'm going to give to one lucky subscriber when I hit a thousand. Um, but wow, um, you guys have been just blowing my mind. Uh, I've had like 140 some subscribers in this last week. Uh, just incredible um, and so I I don't have much time left until I'm reaching a thousand and so very soon I'm gonna be giving away a couple hand planes so I've really been working on these um, and I don't want to show you a whole lot because I'm gonna be doing uh, probably a couple videos on them when they actually come out but let me tell you they are really stinking cool and I am getting excited about these and looking forward to using them uh, they're gonna be uh, small smoothing planes and uh, really really high end. Uh, so the steel I'm working on is very thick quality, um, 01 tool steel. Uh, the soles are purple heart, the body is ash, um, and they're gonna look sweet. So keep your eye open for that, and as soon as I hit a thousand, you will uh, see some videos on these, and one of you will get them. So hope you like it. This next week, I'm probably gonna have a couple videos coming out. Um, I'll be doing one on actually making this hatchet. Um, this, this used to be an ax that belonged to my father-in-law, and I am restoring it, fixing it up, um, sharpening it, but I also want to make a handle, and I don't want a full axe. I don't have a need for an axe right now, um, but I do have a need for a good hatchet, and so that is what I am uh, I'm working on here, and I'm kind of playing with the, my own design. Um, it's made out of ash, and uh, this will be a really, it should be a fairly cool project. Hopefully I'm going to have that out early this week. The next video I'm hoping to get out this week is actually making a sharpening station. Uh, for a while I have had this mess of water stones and uh, there were cheap junky water stones. Yeah, I'm able to get a good edge on them, but they, they took more time and effort. So I'm really trying to work down my sharpening system um, to make it more efficient, to make it smoother, and something I can I can swap in and out blades. Because I'm sharpening, you know, a chisel and an iron probably 10 to 15 times a day um, at one point or another. So I'm actually making this sharpening station, and I'll have a video exactly how I'm doing it and what that will be uh, what that'll be looking like. So if you like that, keep an eye open for it. So this year I got to go to the Milwaukee Woodworking Show, and if you've never been to one, they're kind of fun. Uh, they're not this huge show, but they have the, the highlights and good time, good demonstrations. Uh, they have them all over the United States, but uh, they have one in Milwaukee every year that I, I try to go to. Um, I was able to take my kids this year, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, my uh, my two boys were. It was the first time they got to see something like that, so it was it was kind of an eye-opening experience and, and enjoyable. I've also got to meet several of you, and I want to say thank you to those of you who came up and said hi. I love meeting you guys and finding more out about you. So uh, yeah, if you ever see me, feel free to come up and say hi. I, I'd love to meet you. Got to see several other YouTube personalities and uh, spend some time there. 
Um, I think one of the highlights for me was actually going to the uh, the wood miser demonstration and seeing my uh, my son's eyes light up. I mean, Arthur was about ready to drop his life savings on one of those, but I told him that 53 cents just wasn't enough. Otherwise, uh, I would have purchased one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of great ideas, a lot of great things going on. Uh, if you ever get a chance to go to a uh, uh, woodworking show, do so. Okay, so next up. Uh, a new friend of mine contacted me through my YouTube channel and uh, saw my video on uh, my 45 and said, well, I, I saw that you were looking for another set of blades. Uh, I have an extra set. Would you be willing to trade for something? And I said, I'd be very interested. And so we started talking about that. And, uh, well, we set up a trade. But not only was it for the blades, uh, it was for this. So let me show you what's inside. A set of planes for a Stanley number 45. But that's what we all knew was coming. This should let you know what's coming up. <laughs> Can anyone guess what this is? So this, this is a Stanley number 55. It is known as the king of planes. Um, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Whereas the Stanley number 55 has 55 blades uh, that it can run with. And there are currently 49 in the set, so I'm missing a couple. Um, but whew, that is uh, far better than I had before. Um, yeah, these are really cool. So there's only, there's only a couple pieces that are missing from this piece. And uh, it is a full-blown Stanley number 55. Absolutely gorgeous. Stanley number 45, really cool plane. Stanley number 55, extremely cool plane. So that's what I have coming up. I'm probably going to have a few videos coming up on uh, working with the 55, what can it do, maybe some differences between the 45 and 55. Um, if you ever come across the 55, pick it up. It is a really, really sweet plane with a lot of different uses. Uh, when I first got started in hand tool woodworking, uh, I came across one at a garage sale at was an amazing price. And I didn't think too much about it and thought, that's a really weird looking plane. I don't think I want that and passed it up. And I'm kicking myself ever since. But uh, this, this is awesome. This is a trade. Um, so I am actually going to be making um, several things for him. So number one, I'm going to be making a tongue and groove plane. So very similar to my, my simple grooving plane, um, I'm going to make a matching pair of tongue and grooves that they work together. So you can either join boards together edge to edge or do some fancy uh, box joining with it. Um, so that'll be a video coming up. And then I'm also going to be making two different boxes uh, for him because he also has a 55 and a, and a 45 um, in his own shop, um, but doesn't have a box for them. So I'm going to be making a, a box to house the 55 and its blades and a box to house the 45 and its blades. Um, so I'll have several videos coming up on making those and we'll be doing some uh, box joint ideas and things like that. So yeah, happy day. One of the other cool things that showed up in the mail this week was the Mortis and Tenon magazine. Uh, this is something I have been looking forward to, to for a while. Uh, it's not exactly a magazine as much of a journal, um, and it is just jam-packed with uh, traditional woodworking and actually tearing apart uh, old, well, not tearing apart, but uh, preserving old furniture and seeing how is it made and uh, looking at these individual pieces and, and getting to know the woodworker who originally created them. Um, so if you haven't ordered a, uh, a journal, do so. They are actually running out. Um, demand has been much higher than they expected and it is, it's well worth the money. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm working my way through it slowly and savoring it, but it's well worth it. So I've got a lot of fun projects coming up and I'm really trying to figure out what I need to do first. Um, I have things like a kerfing saw and a rubo frame saw. I'm making a, a tongue and groove plane set, uh, one with the tongue, one with the groove. Uh, I'm making boxes for my new 55 and 45. 
Um, I, I'm making a lot of other things coming up as well as the, the dresser and the several other projects. Um, please let me know what do you want me to do first. Uh, I have so many things so I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what should I actually start working on next and I'd love to hear what you have to say on that. So that's about it for this week. We've got a lot of fun projects coming up and I would love to hear what you want me to do next. Also if you have some fun idea for a project please let me know. If I decide to do it as a video I'll give you a shout out. If you like the, uh, the show uh, hit the like button and subscribe. Feel free to check out one of my other videos as well. And until next time, have a wonderful day.